stage did your own beliefs change or did you always have those same beliefs or did you did you perhaps have to adapt to new beliefs that's a that's a very good question and um, i can share an experience with you is again uh, so as i as i said i joined the lgbtq group in my at my previous employer and then um, i come across uh, someone who is uh, a trans mm-hmm. or a cross dresser so this is to me did not exist in my agenda previously and in, in my in my world especially like having a colleague and apparently he was a very interesting person he uh, he identifies as uh, gender fluid okay. so he, he has two kind of ids one as a female and one as as a male and um so uh, he would come to the office one day dressed as man and the next day he would be dressed as a woman mm-hmm. so this is something completely uh uh, out of my some to me this is was completely new uh, I, I never thought that I would accept this as a colleague or something within my circle uh, the other thing is it turned out to be used to be a straight man married with kids and used to be a, a football coach mm. again that's in terms of my set of beliefs I always associate these type of like uh, individuals with like I never thought they'd be like football players never thought they would have kids, had kids or like in a straight uh, marriages you know so it had to kind of alter my my belief and my my mindset on these type of like individuals and made me accept it and made me more tolerant and open about it and um, so yeah i had to adjust and i had to adapt and i accepted so I don't know if this answers your your question. It does it, very very much. And uh, so you've talked about a change in belief. Um, were you ever able to share that with someone from your family, for instance? Uh, unfortunately, not. Okay. Yeah. Um, were you ever able to share that with any of your friends from your Middle Eastern friends? the ones that identify as as gay but the other ones not yeah. okay so you still had to disguise that that side unfortunately okay. yes um so um so you didn't do that and you didn't change you didn't communicate the change to friends in your own country and uh, and you weren't able to explain the changes to them can i ask you why not um I because on a personal reason, mainly to do with me not uh, being comfortable in, in coming out to my uh, straight Middle Eastern friends. Okay, so if you told them, for instance, you know that I I, I work in the company and guess what, this guy came in and and he's a crossdresser and uh, you know and I was scared to begin with, but you know I was whatever to begin with, and yeah. then um, and then I thought, you know what, it's all right. Um, do do you do you think that I might out? Oh no! In, in in that context, Mark, I did share it with a few friends. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I did not discuss in a sense that. Yeah, but the, like it was, I've separated it from the fact of me being being gay. Right. Okay. But you discussed yeah. it with friends in 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 the context of this is what happens at work. Absolutely. Yeah. What I shared was, it what with, was with their few reaction? Friends. Uh. So. Well, uh, yeah, that's a good question. The, the reason I shared and I was comfortable to share is kind of I was anticipating their reaction in a sense that because I know they're like individuals who are relatively open minded and mm-hmm. like progressive. And I know they would like it's, it's something that they would like accept and uh, they wouldn't like even question why I'm like discussing this or like I'm associated with the individuals. Okay. Okay, um, so um, let's talk about you feeling that you belong. Um, how important is it for you to feel that you belong? Uh, absolutely, it's it's very crucial. Yeah. And at the same time, how difficult is it for you to be unique? How important, sorry. Yeah, good question. Yeah, knowing me, it would be, 
would be a bit uncomfortable knowing that I'm unique. Okay. And, but there is some uniqueness there because you said that, you know, you wanted to come and find yourself. Absolutely. Uniqueness and uh, like our own experiences and our uh, identities. Uh, ab absolutely. That's, that's the case. Maybe uniqueness from a, I'm, I'm looking at it from a more of a sexuality point of view. Right. Okay. And, yeah. And, and so... they're probably not. Um, and then, so if we talked about you belonging, belongingness, that it's very important to you, you said, and, um, and some sort of uniqueness, you know, because you said, I believe that some of it is unique and some of it is not. Um, how do you, how do you find a balance? A balance in terms of like uniqueness and, and belonging. Yeah, because if being unique is at the expense of belonging or do you put unique belonging at the expense of being unique? I guess if I'm, um, if I'm getting it right is belonging is where I can be comfortable with my own uniqueness. If I can put it this way. If that, if, and if that, and, and do you know what, if that's what it is, then yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that's cool. In, and regardless of what belonging is, like, I, I feel I belong to the UK or more than I feel I belong to my, my home country now, where I am in, in my, my, my life now. It's been, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's been some time as well, hasn't it? It's been eight years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, so last question, someone wants to migrate to the UK. Um, what would you say to them? What advice do you have? So a newcomer wants to come and what would you say to them? Yeah, the main piece of advice is they need to be open to the differences uh, between where they're coming from and here, and they're willing to take this on board and adjust and adapt. Uh, it's it's not as it depends on where they're coming from as well, but it's 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 being anyway moving to a new place is never easy. Mm. Are willing to adjust, adapt, and integrate. It's you you won't you won't feel like you belong okay. and if you don't feel like you're belonging somewhere that's that's never like because that's why you get kind of like you need to feel comfortable you need to feel that uh settled mm. have this feeling it's, it's very hard to uh to, to continue so i say uh come with an open mind uh willing to adapt adjust and accept mm. as it is and uh, embrace it okay thank you well thank you very much Omar. That, that was the last of my questions i'm just going to switch this thing off